He came to a complete stop. <laughs> the bike was stopped. We dropped the bike. But he... Today we interrupt our regular scheduled program while we are roaming the USA. While we're roaming the, the USA. USA. <laughs> we are Boots and Jeans Riders. I am Rich. I'm Kate. And today we put out an informational video while we are on the road because one of our newly subscribers came up with a question. His name is Tom Davis. And Tom Davis, we're going to ask them that question. Let me Today in this video. Get my phone. I got and it. And that question is. He says, when riding two up, does the passenger mount first or the operator? And whether or not the passenger is first, can you show us that process? So that's what we're getting ready to do for you right now, Tom, and the rest of our subscribers. Yes, because if you got that question, I'm sure. Some other people who haven't been used to riding two up probably have the exact same question. Right. And although we very seldom ride two up, we do ride two up. What? Stop. stop. <laughs> Y'all see she messed up the video, right? Okay, so we're going to talk about that right now. And just to give you an answer right off the bat, and then we're going to demonstrate on a decline. We're on a slight decline right here, yeah. and for that purpose, we want to do this video for that purpose. We're going to demonstrate that answer that question. The answer is, it's always, always 100% the operator decision. I see you with the side of my eyes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all it's right. It's always the operator decision of when the passenger mounts. Right. So, in this case, when we're on a decline, I 100% of the time mount first. First of all, I try not to park on a decline, but 100% of the time. And I'm going to show you why I always mount first. Get on the bike right now. And I'm just going to mount from the left side. You can mount from the left or right side, whichever you choose. And we made a video on mounting big bikes also. So make sure you check that video out. I will pull it up right here, right there. So you can check that video out where we really get into details about mounting a big bike. So what I'm going to do now is just use the momentum to mount the bike now. This is one of the reasons I do it, is I always step with here. So check that video out, you see what I'm talking about, and let my momentum get me on the bike, pull the bike up off a decline, straighten out the wheel, and then can't go away for my instructions to mount it. I have a backrest on, so if you don't have a backrest on, it may be a little easier. So what I normally do, I have two points of contact with the wheel, Right. two points of contact with my feet, so that's four, and then controlling and stabilizing the bike with my feet and my hand. And I'm always, 100% of the time, you should squeeze your right brake so there will be no movement, just in case you aren't ready. So once I brace it, and remember, we're on an incline, because it's hard to lift a big bike to begin with. So we've done a video on how to lift your big bikes. Check that video out also. So right. if it's hard to lift a big bike by itself, imagine trying to do it with a passenger while you are on an incline. We all camping and people passing by yeah, and waving passing at us. Passing by and they're waving. So. so I would get here, I will be ready for cake, and I would say, okay, go ahead. You ready? Or, or she would ask. You ready for me to get on? Yes, go ahead. And I'm ready. One thing, hold on, I don't get on yet. One thing I forgot. I always 100% of the time keep the kickstand down. The reason is, <laughs> hello. <laughs> the reason is, if something happened and she pulled a bike, for some reason I'm not stable as I thought I was, she pulled it back down, it's coming on a kickstand. It's strong enough to where it's not gonna break even on a decline. So keep your kickstand down on a decline. I even do it when we're on flat surface also. Right. So brake, leaning forward because I have a backrest and let her get on. I'm ready for her to get on. And once she on, then everything go as normal. Smooth takeoff and smooth stop, just like you would do without a passenger. Nothing changed in that case, not a single thing. Check out our video also. I know I'm plugging in a lot of videos. Right. Smooth starts and stop. Everything gotta be perfect. 
now that she's on a bike, when we come to a stop, and do she dismount first or do I dismount first? It's still the operator's choice. Normally I would dismount first to make it easy for her, but as a passenger, passenger, you gotta listen to what the operator says because if you start dismounting and they're not ready. It's not ready. It's, you remember that time? Like one time we were in Utah. Yes, yes, and yes. He came to a complete stop. <laughs> The bike was stopped. <laughs> we dropped the bike. But he was not prepared for me to do what I did. The bike stopped and I did this. Yes. And I was getting off and he said, what are you doing? What are you doing? And the bike just the bike. <laughs> went over. I said, oops. <laughs> we laughed about what happened. We laughed. What happened when, uh, once the bike went down? When the bike went down, we just took the, because we went to the store. Yes. We just took the groceries off and brought them up to the room. And then we went back and picked up the bike. We was like, we're in no hurry to pick the bike up, you <laughs> yeah. know. We laughed, we laughed about it. So Good you luck. have to make sure, as a passenger, make sure that the operator is ready for you to make any moves that you are intending to do. Yes, because that one, I mean, fortunately, it turned out perfect. It could have been tragic. What, what happened, I pulled in. Yeah. Pulled in straight and came to my smooth stop. Watch the video, I'm telling you. Came to my smooth stop where only, and only my left foot was down, my right foot was still on my brake, and I was just about to get my bike stable when she started moving and got off the bike. Yeah. I stood up. <laughs> but anyway. And the bike went down. I didn't fall off the bike. It just, you're right. It fell and I was still sitting on it like this. Right. <laughs> so we gonna continue uh, with this. So when dismounting, when I'm on an incline, Always lock my wheel to my, my left. Make sure it's completely locked. I can dismount to the right because I normally step back. But for the most part, I dismount for the let to the left, grab the handlebar, step off the bike, and I'm off. And the reason I dismount first, because it's extremely easier for her to get off the bike than it is with me on the bike first. Right. So let me step out the way so you can see. You can see. And of course, I had a back backrest, so show how easy back it is rest. for her to dismount without me being in the way. I just push the backrest forward, lift, swing my leg over, and I'm off. When I lift, I'm lifting on the foot peg down there. Yes. And I swing my leg over and I get off. And now the time when he's not on the bike first, when I get on first, I'm gonna show you how I do it. He's not here, I lean this first, I grab the handlebars, lean on it so I can still have the bike on this side with the kickstand. Then I just get on like this, bring my leg over and now I'm ready for him to get on it. And in this case, I do not use this because I don't want to sling over and <laughs> knock, her, knock her <laughs> off the bike. I do a step through. And when I do the step through, uh, if you're flexible enough to do this, I use the momentum and you can see it's still on an incline, I mean a decline. I use momentum at the same time to lift the bike as long as my handlebars aren't locked because I straighten it up. So I'm gonna do the momentum. I'm gonna step with my left momentum with the right and use the whole momentum to get the bike off the side stand while I have a passenger. Step, lift, momentum, bike up, handlebar straight, I'm ready to roll. Right. Just that simple. And when getting off the bike, like I said, Probably 99.9% .9 of the time I would get off first. So we're gonna show you what happens or how we get off the bike, how Kate get off the bike when I'm still on the bike. Right. Just in case we're at a location where I need to move the bike, I say, okay, why don't you get off here? I'm gonna go park over there. In that case, I still do the exact same thing. So we riding, I come to a nice, smooth, complete stop. My right foot is still on the brake. Then I go to stabilization. I stabilize the bike, then I actually put my kickstand down and go through the same process, lean, I will lean forward, and then she will get off the bike whichever way she can, because I don't know what she's doing back there now. <laughs> put the backrest up and I use Rich for leverage, because oh. I'm not able to catch so up. Grab mm -hmm. on to him. Mm -hmm. oh. And same way, get off, put my leg down. Ta-da! I say it, ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> and we all set and ready to roll. Right. Now, for those of you who used to riding two up all the time, and some things in there, do you do the same thing? And I hope this answered the question for those of you who just basically start riding two up. And like we said before, we don't ride two up that often, but we do have procedures and we try to stick by it, especially 
if we're on a decline. Exactly. So if you have everything to add, make sure you add it in the comment section. We answer all and every comment that we see. Anything else, baby? No. Okay, that's all we have for right now, Tom. So I hope this answers your question and anybody else who's watching this video on mounting with and a this passenger. Mountain. With a passenger. But if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. From Moose and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Kate. And we are Rome in the USA. We, we are, are from in the USA. <laughs> we out. Peace. Peace. Now go ride two up.